Charlie and Light Princess nab six nominations. Mormon and Wants get five. Helen Mirren, Daniel Radcliffe and Rory Kinnear are all in the running. I'm Joe Pike and this is the What's On Stage Awards 2014. I don't know how many more people they can fit into this gorgeous Café de Paris, but uh, this is just the beginning. It's going to be jammed in a minute. These awards are so important because they're the public voting for us. Our mums can get in. Just, that's probably what happened, to be fair. My mum just probably did it loads and loads of times. Power to the people is, a, is an old phrase I used many years ago in, in Citizen Smith when I was first on the telly, and I think that's what awards are about. Look, what happened with Les Mis, you need to stop and ask the people as they come out of the theatre what was it like, and that's the way you find out. It's from the public, so that's why this is absolutely perfect. Because the public are the ones who have to pay their money and see the, see the shows. So um, I think it's really important for them to have their voice heard. It's just nice getting, I guess, the support from the people who actually, if they like you, that's sort of the most important thing, because it means people are enjoying your performance, and they're the people who are coming and paying the money. The public are the ones who influence what we make, how we make it, and how often we make it. That's what you want when you're, when you're on stage, to, to make sure that people enjoy you as a, as a person and as a character. For a second, fuck this, Cynthia Riva. Sorry, how to be done. Well, for us actors, it's the most important thing because we kind of exist because of the audience and we kind of do what they guide us to. The bottom line of any uh, theatre or any entertainment is is the audience who who come and see it. They actually make a show successful and make a show survive for a long time. So we're very grateful to the public. Thank you. The great thing is being in the space in the theatre with them, and at the end, this is the one time where they can say, "We love that show. We love that person. We love that," without being told by somebody else what they should think. Yeah, actually, you please them. You feel like you've done your job. It's great to think that people at home can just go, "Yeah." I love that and vote. The public are the people who are keeping the show going, so if they're voting for you, it means they're enjoying it. It's just lovely to know that a show that, that ran at Regent's Park for a very short time, uh, in comparison to a lot of West End shows that run for potentially years, uh, was noted by the public and, and, and voted for. Nigel, how are preparations going for I Can't Sing? Uh, I don't know how are oh, right. preparations <laughs> going. Uh, we, uh, we don't start till January, so... Um... Going pretty well. Yeah, it's going really well. <laughs> Do come, it's going to be brilliant. And uh, have you met Simon Cowell? Yes, I met him. Okay. <laughs> chocolate! She, no, chocolate! <laughs> that was a line that was cut. <laughs> Anytime you get asked back to do anything, that makes you feel good because it's a sort of a reassurance that the first time you did it wasn't absolutely god awful. I feel excited, electric, amazing. I'm very happy to be here. I'm glad to be in this country and on the West End again. And I'm just, uh, I'm honored. The whole process of A Chorus Line was incredible. It was a great family of people from the very beginning and very supportive of each other through the Olivier's and my win with the Olivier's. It was incredible. Anything like this seems slightly out of the blue, really. But I'm looking forward to telling my mum, she'll like that. Everybody involved, uh, me and obviously amazing Leah Williams who directed the show, and Frank McGuinness, the writer, and the whole creative team um, were so passionate about it. The homelessness and, and, and the opportunity of using enterprise to get people off the streets is, is what the theatre is all about. I've been working on this project for like five years now, so the, the fact that it's out there and people are enjoying it and, and voting for it is brilliant. It's absolutely great. amazing. We feel overwhelmed that it's yeah. been so well received by the public and that yeah. they're nominating us. I didn't really think of winning an award would be that bigger, bigger of a deal, but it is nice to be recognised for such a, you know, an amazing production. I'm very, very happy for Lucy Kirkwood. I mean, she really deserves it. She's not even 30, is she? Yeah. And she's ridiculous. just written one of the most amazing plays I've ever read. And love is the song you will sing your whole life through. Oh. 
I love I love being a part of Wicked. Um, I think uh, the closing day of Rent on Broadway, being a part of that special company uh, and closing its journey on Broadway was a highlight of my career. To be in a category with those amazing women is an honor, so it's, it's brilliant. And, and it's amazing to be nominated for a second time in that category over four years. The Aiming Corner, I think it was just one of those shows that just all the elements were right, you know, fantastic cast, director, and we just kind of had this great time doing this show. It's amazing, actually, because it's a, a brand new original musical and it's been nominated for original music, which is exciting. This is my first nomination party. This is great. I'm having a really good time so far, yeah. Only been there 30 seconds, I'm having a great time. It's really wonderful, it's really nice. What's on stage also has feet in both camps now, uh, having been acquired by the Broadway-based theatermania.com. Together uh, with What's on Stage and Theater Mania, we are now the only transatlantic theater media group, which has a nice handy little ring to it, doesn't it? I'm a bit partial to the musical once. Um, I've been and seen it twice now, and I never go and see things twice. I've absolutely loved um, James McAvoy's Macbeth. I loved Macbeth at the Trafalgar Studios. I thought it was uh, its the first time I'd seen Macbeth played with such a kind of visceral performance, and, uh, and my girlfriend played Lady Macbeth as well, so I was just really proud that of it. That helps, that helps, yeah. I, I love the equipment because it had one of my really good friends in it, Julia Worsley, and every time she came on, I felt all giddy and like, oh my god, it's Julia! Mojo. Unbelievable play, fantastic performances. Matilda, fantastic, just everything about it, the music, the lyrics, the writing, the design, the direction, the choreography, incredible, I was just blown away. They haven't seen The Light Princess yet, and I really, really want to see it. I saw The Drowned Man, and it was absolutely amazing. Go see it, it's brilliant. The Light Princess, for sure, it has to be. It has to be the colour purple at the Menier Chocolate Factory. I was in bits when I went to see that. Light Princess, uh, a lot of fantastic stuff in it. Mojo. That is phenomenal. I saw uh, The Colour Purple at the Chocolate Factory and uh, I have to say Cynthia, my, my friend Cynthia, who is phenomenal, um, I am rooting for her all day. The Book of Mormon, which I think is an, amazing. That was actually an anniversary gift. <laughs> oh, I'd love to see Book of Mormon, uh, if, if I could get a ticket. Anyone fancy getting me a ticket, that'd be brilliant. And everyone had said it was funny, it was hilarious, and I can't believe I was crying with laughter from beginning to end. This is probably one of the most fun shows that I've had, and uh, the fun shows that I've done also. I mean, it's great to be in a show that has an effect on an audience like this does. I really feel like it's something, it's brought something really different to the West End. Um, it's brought comedy, but at the same time, it's a piece that's telling truth. Um, it's, you know, it's got heart. A friend of mine who did say that she had nominated us um, said, what I liked about your play was that it was so much funnier than that Othello that we went to see. I've been coming to this do years for years now and it's a fun do. Go, hold it up to your face. Okay. Right. Yeah, OK, right. Jesus. She's flushed. Stop tooting cans okay. and a piece right. of string. Okay. Hold it up okay. to your face. If the What's On Stage family, if I can use that, have always been very good to me, so it's an honour to be part of it again, if only in a little little way. Well, it's what is it? It's, you know, the clues in the name. It's because it's all about what's on stage and I love, but I love live performance. I just love the fact that it completely represents our theatre industry in a, in a really lovely way. To have the What's On Stage awards, I think, is really important. It gives the audience a voice and to be able for them to be able to say what they love and I'm glad that they come. Um, But who wins, you decide. Vote online now.